We are here with Man O Mandela himself. Truly a gentleman who needs no no introduction, Richard Mandela. Uh, four Breeders' Cup wins in one day back then, I think it was, right? And won the two-day event back then. Uh, heading into the juvenile fillies with a, a super, super exciting filly in Tamara. Uh, first off, what do you think of the draw? Yeah, it's a good place. I would okay. just need to work, hope for good luck. Okay. Uh, you know, people in, the, in this game, and you're probably as good a guy to ask this question as any I can think of, always say the great race mares don't always produce great race horses. And now you've got the Philly out of Beholder, who you trained Beholder, and when she won the distaff, it was probably one of the greatest point for a race training jobs that I've ever seen. But she's produced this Philly that's like super exciting. So can you talk a little bit about why people have that notion that the great mares don't produce and how does Tamara fit into that equation? Well, because the great horses are so few and far between. Okay. It's hard to figure out where they're gonna come from. Uh, if you could mathematically figure it out or genealogically, the game would be over. And that's what keeps everybody playing the game is nobody knows. Right. Uh, but just such a, nice thing to have a filly like this out of Beholder because she was part of the family. Right. How, how, how early on did you know that Tamara was, was special? Uh, once she started to work and know what she was doing, she you could see she was pretty special. Okay. Uh, we'll end with this, and, and, and if you don't want to disclose this, I understand, but the rumor is that you always heard on social media the Songbird One statements about that photo that Beholder One when she got up. I'm told that Mike Smith's instructions are, this is your chance for revenge. Is that true? <laughs> Somebody's making stuff up. <laughs> That's kind of what I thought. That, that, thank you, Rich. Uh, all, all, all the best this weekend. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Hey. Everyone begins in horse racing with exactly the same thing. A dream. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. That dream is what unites us. But what truly sets us apart is choosing to make that dream a thrilling reality. At Dare to Dream Stable, we've been on a relentless mission to breathe life into those dreams for our partners for over 20 years. Here's the wire, Moon Cat! Our track record Cat, speaks for Jones, itself. Legacy. We've excelled at turning Legacy. dreams into Legacy. reality. Stakes to ball and ball to win. At the most reasonable price points in the industry. And the winner's circle is Dare to Dream Stable, LLC. So the question is, do you dare to dream? Join us in racehorse ownership today.